yeah, this will be no-till in the future, but for right now, we've got a clay-rich soil with some sand nearby. There's, I mean, there's sand over here. That's all sand, but this was a clay-rich soil. These are old mines, old gravel pit and sand pit mines, so this whole area had a different type of soil. It was a denser clay deposited here. It didn't, was not much organic matter, but we've put a lot of wood chips in there. There were two big piles here. Most of all that's gone out in here and been integrated over multiple um, spreadings and a couple tillings. And right now we're working on this one row where we're, we've tilled it with a hand tiller a couple passes and then we're go, going through with a shovel, sitting down and uh, working it in, folks. Working more organic matter in. There's a lot of um, goat poop and duck duck excrement compost. Oh, I spread it all out. I had more buckets. It's all out here now. You can see some of it there. You can see some of the caked pieces here. And uh, there's been lime. Here's some lime right here. There's quite a bit of lime in here. And uh, you got to mix it up a bit first before you go no-till, folks, with some of this shit. I mean, the people talk no-till online, and they don't always provide the perspective that when you're first breaking into the soil, this times you got to break it up a bit. Why? Because you got to mix this stuff together and get it till it becomes the... Um, rich so if we look at it here we can see some sand we brought some sand out here but there's also sand We're starting to get into some areas that have some sand whereas down here was mainly clay um here's some of that clay that clay rich soil the redder stuff so there's pockets of all kinds of things there's there's all kinds of material now and i'm mixing it together and breaking up clods of the clay like stuff and getting it in together with everything else. Look at all that. That's sand right there. So basically, I I use these little shovels a lot, folks, and get down in there, and then I got some clods of that original sill. See the red stuff in it? The rusty, it's iron-rich stuff, folks. Iron-rich soil. Just it needed more organic matter. It needed better drainage. All the decaying wood chips from the forestry mulching wood chip piles that were composted. All the compost from the leaf compost files. The forest, forest humus. We brought a lot out here. Sand, lime, goat poops, duck poops. All this gets mixed together. And then next year, you know, you won't be tilling this. You just come in and pull some weeds, harvest some things, and plant new things, drill in seeds, and... No need to keep tilling, but in the early stages, sometimes we got to till. We got to deal with this soil out here, especially on old mine sites and all. And So no-till is a, is a destination, but it's not the way we start it. Because if you just throw seeds out here, folks, <laughs> it ain't going to grow. We tried that before. <laughs> Nothing's going to grow. The... The natives are adapted to this, the survivors, and they ain't gonna let nothing else grow up in here. You gotta work the soil first. And then the natives can be used still in the alleyways. We'll talk about that later, but like, see the bahia along here? And that's an alleyway there. That's The bahia gets very much enhanced by the proximity of this richer soil and the integration into its alleyway soil. And the bahia gets strong and, and really good and it's there for erosion, for covering the um, the alleyway so you can walk on it. And uh, It's one of the greatest cover crops we got out here that was planted when they remediated the mines. And Bahia is doing well. Anyways, so the soil's getting mixed up. You can see there's some of the, red, the reddish, rustier orange clay elements there. But there's a lot of organic matter in here, folks. The mix is getting really good. <laughs> 